I don't know what happened. Huge explosion, every color I see, gone. Alright, I'm about to go fucking crazy right now. I've done nothing but designing levels and fixing bugs for the past 5 months and I'm about to go So I was talking to my boy Therapy Yoshi on how I can make my game slightly better and he said You're not going to lie the city in chapter 2 was quite shit. You should remake it. Fine. In case you were living under a Corian rock, Colorblind is a 3D puzzle game about robots and colors. The world of Colorblind is interactive and holds a lot of visual storytelling spanning 5 chapters. Which let's just see now by the way, the game will be completely free on launch. Now if you've played the earlier version of chapter 2, you will know that the environments look more soulless than Twitter.com at this point. The buildings were bland and the city just wasn't convincing enough. The skyscraper model just felt too repetitive and boring sometimes when it came to being in the environment. Hence, I pretty much had to redo the entire damn chapter because why not, I wanna die. And just like that, we've recreated the entirety of chapter 2 in about 10 days. Now, I'll be completely honest with you, that's quite a short amount of time for 11 scenes, and I'm about to faint, so good night, everyone. Hey, you! Finally awake! In my opinion, the city is much more convincing, and the open world aspect should be much greater than before. The same couldn't be said about me. Now, if you've watched my previous devlogs, Colorblind borrows a heavy inspiration from Half Life 2 which is in my opinion, the best FPS game in gaming history. And part of what makes Half-Life 2 so special was the interactivity of the entire world. For instance, you could try interacting with various mechanisms that would be interactable in real life such as this vending machine. And this vending machine actually does dispense soda. This is great for storytelling because it is later revealed that the soda actually has some nasty chemicals inside that are used to brainwash the citizens. This type of storytelling really goes to show how much attention to detail was put into this game. Hence, I also wanted to expand the world building of Colorblind in this same way. Now, if you've played the demo, you will know that these cubes are called Corium. Corium basically acts as a power source of the entire world and powers most of the machinery in the game. It also is the main puzzle mechanic that the game revolves around. In order to emphasize the importance of Corium being used in this world, Adding extra Corium powered machinery felt just the right touch. So I'm gonna implement that, so see you in the next two weeks. Okay, that took way longer than it should have. I, I don't know how to make 3D models, alright? Anyways, the interactable objects have been added, including Corium powered fans, Corium battery vending machines, interactable Corium charging stations, hologram computers, and interactable lamps. And these Corium powered machines are actually extremely easy to spot because Corium is the only colored object in the entire game. Anyways, that's done, so I, I, I'm gonna. Hey, you! Finally awake! Hey, it's me again. So apparently something happened to me last night, and here's some footage. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat breakfast. Whoa, 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 hey, how, how did you get in my. Hello, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. Wait, 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 wait. Why am I getting arrested you for? You are taking too long to release your damn game. Now let me arrest you, you little piece wait, of what? shit. Listen here, you little shit. You have until September 12 to finish your game as well as a trailer, you insignificant Reddit user. If you are unable to meet the requirements, then I will kill your wife. I will kill your son. I will kill your infant. Okay, so the game's release is right around the corner and I haven't really made any promotional material and manager Yoshi and his clients at Steam are definitely not holding me at gunpoint at this point, so let, let, let's make a trailer. So like every good game developer, I'm not gonna watch how to make a trailer. I started by booting up my video editor and recording some footage of the beta version of my game. Now there are three things that I want to capture in this trailer. The gameplay, which are the puzzle mechanics, the visual environment and atmosphere, and the story and world building. I recorded most of the footage so that it captured all three of these aspects. Whether that's the factory environment in chapter 1, the gravity puzzles in chapter 5, complemented by the additional dialogue of different characters being played in the background. The music played is Sand Machine by Porter Robinson, and I feel like the lyrics perfectly echo the story and details. Some of the lines include, Is anyone there? Oh, hi. Which indicates one of the characters' loneliness. 
Who survived? Somebody new? Refers to the apocalypse that occurs as a result of past events. Coincidence? I think not. Anyways, here's the full trailer. Make sure to put on headphones for the I best experience. I don't know what happened. Huge explosion. Every color I see. The trailer is available in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Be sure to watch this colorblind on Steam, the game will be completely free on launch. Now on to some minor details. There have been a total of, uh, 5 billion bugs fixed, based on the feedback of the demo, Steam community posts, and Discord suggestions. Some bugs included a duplication glitch of the Corium cube, and some hitboxes that didn't register, as well as some minor adjustments such as the removal of some unused shadows that were pretty much destroying the GPU. Alright, so there was something I wanted to make that I had in mind for quite a while, but I wasn't so sure it would work because it was quite ironic. And that is colorblind support. As in, like, for actually colorblind people. The visually impaired are unable to discern some colors as they have a much smaller range of color visibility. Hence, by activating colorblind support, letters and symbols would appear on puzzle mechanics that heavily involve the color aspect. I made this because of a reddit comment of someone who thought that this game was for colorblind people, so, so, yeah, you're welcome. Anyways, now that the core gameplay along with a few extra details are complete, it is time to move into the beta testing phase. So I built the game in Unity for Windows, Mac, and Linux, which was pretty simple, so hopefully uploading it to Steam would be a piece of cake. What the f- Anyways, after not sleeping for a few days, I got the process of uploading builds up and running, and it was finally ready for beta test. So apparently there were some options I promised that I did not add, such as Steam leaderboards. So in response, I told Steam give me like one year and added a leaderboard system where the faster time records for completing colorblind are shown. I can't wait to see how fast y'all are at speedrunning, so I give you a challenge. The fastest time to complete the entirety of Colorblind will be given the title of uh, Legendary Alpha Male Gamer. And you'll get a shout out as well. So if you're an Alpha Male Gamer, join the Discord server uh, or, or something, and by the end of October, I will see who is the fastest epic Alpha Male Gamer speedrunner. I'll call it the Colorblind Alpha Gamer Speedrun Tournament. CAGST for short. So join the Discord now, gamer. Anyways, once the build was done, Steam finally approved the my shitty game and I was free to hand out early access copies of the game to my beta testers, which means more bugs to fix. Overall progress has been massive over the last few weeks, and I pretty much have everything just about ready to go. The game will be available on Steam and itch.io for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Currently for consoles, I have no plans, but if the game becomes successful enough, who knows, maybe I might port to consoles. So if you want to see that happen, become an epic alpha male gamer and smash subscribe, wish this colorblind on Steam, and buy the OST on Steam for a measly $3. Random shoutout time, drumroll please. Shoutout to Zed Sheeper for being an epic alpha male gamer. If you want a shoutout, don't be afraid to let me know what you think of the game or the video in the comments. Thanks for watching and I, I don't know how to end this video, so just...